file read and write operations. So, what is a data file? File is a logical unit of related information stored on a named location on disk. It is used to permanently store data in a non-volatile memory as example hard disk. We can keep our data in different data types. So, like the numbers, like your tuples, lists, sets, dictionaries and so on. But the, all of them are occupying space in the volatile memory that is RAM. So, when the program will get terminated, when my machine will be shut down in that case that data will be lost. So, we are supposed to have some mechanism with the help of which we can store our data onto a secondary storage that is a non-volatile storage let it be hard disk. So, the best means to do that one is through our data files. So, file is a logical unit of related information stored on a named location on a disk and it is used to permanently store data onto a non-volatile memory here it is our hard disk as example. So, since random access memory that is RAM is volatile, so it cannot be treated for permanent storage of data. When we want to read from or write to a file, we need to open it at first, then we are, uh, we are done and when this, this one is done, then it needs to be closed so that the resources that are tied with the file are getting free. So, before reading or writing on the data file, at first we are supposed to open the file in the respective mode. Then what about the operations we are supposed to do and we, sh we shall let it done and then we shall close the file so that the allocated resources will be, will be declared as a free. So, hence in Python a file operation takes place in the following sequence that is open a file, read or write that is a perform the respective operation and then close the file. So, there are three steps with the help of which the file handling can be done in Python. So, these are the file python file modes are. So, first one is the R, open a file for the reading that is a by default. If you do not mention R, it will get open in the R mode that is a read mode. W, open a file for writing creates a new file if it does not exist or truncates a file if it is existing. Next one is X, open a file for exclusive creation if the file already exists, the operation fails. So, that is the X mode. In case of A mode, open a file that is for appending at the end of the file and without truncating it creates a new file if it does not exist. So, that means in case of append mode if the file is pre-existing and then the pre-existent file version will get opened and the new content will be appended back. If the file is not pre-existing then against the given name the file will get created and that will be opened. Next one is the T, open the file in the text mode, B, open the file in the binary mode and plus means open a file for updating that is reading and writing mode. So, let us go through some examples here. So, F1 is equal to open employee.dat, here you see we did not mention any mode here. So, by default this R mode will be there. So, equivalent to R or RT, what is RT? There is a read text mode, you can find this one this RT. F2 is equal to open pic.jpg R plus B. So, what is the R? R stands, uh, stands for this, uh, this is my read operation and what is the B? B is that is a binary mode that is read and write in the binary mode. Next one is the F3 that is the open that is a score.txt in W mode that is a write in the text mode. So, in this way we have given some sample codes to show you that how these modes can be used while opening one file. Closing a file in Python. So, you see when we are done with the operations to the file we need to properly close the file and closing is a file, closing a file will free up the resources that were tight with the file and this is done using Python close method. So, using this close method, the file will be closed and the allocated memory space which was allocated for these files will be declared as a free space. Python has a garbage collector to clean up the unref unreferenced objects, but we must not rely on it to close the file. So, that is why we should close the file 
ourselves in the coding we should not consider the garbage collected will come and it will make all the uh, unreferenced resources to make them free we should not rely on that it is our common practice it is a good practice for the programmers open the file do the operations and close it so here we are having some examples so f is equal to open employee dot dat encoding is equal to utf8 and then perform some operations file operations and then f dot close to close the file so that the allocated resources will be declared as free so in this particular video we have discussed that how to perform the read and write operations on file in case of python thanks for watching this video